Hey guys, uh, today we've got uh, low voltage short. So we're going to use this uh, little popper 5 amp circuit breaker to uh, try and locate it. Uh, very simple, just uh, pull out the fuse, plug this into both ends of the uh, fuse connector, and uh, then you can start searching for your blown blowout on your fuse. So I'll show you what it looks like when I got it connected. Okay, so we've got uh, the fuse connector on there. Uh, you could hear that the uh, uh, it popped my my fuse here, um, but it uh, also putting our transformer on a heavy load. Uh, so this does give you a little bit of time to try and figure out where it's coming from. So we are calling for cooling this brand spanking new unit that uh, we just put in. So we're going to uh, check, make sure we don't have frayed wires or anything, and uh, then we'll remove uh, what's calling out of the loop, see if that fixes it, and we'll go one thing at a time until we locate our short. All right, so I took yellow out of the loop, and uh, that's not it, because we're still shorted. All right, so it's definitely the T-step wiring, because as soon as I took R out of the uh, loop, uh, we stopped having the problem with uh, with that so we're gonna have to search the t-stat wiring and see where our short is okay, we found the uh, low voltage short hiding behind some ductwork guys don't do this kind of work uh, first they have uh, I'm thinking I've got eight wire not all of them are even connected here um, and don't tape it up with duct tape like that tape uh, if you're gonna connect wires connect them all and do a good job when you're splicing and try and put it in an area that people can see but um, if you can't then at least connect all the wires so uh, we're gonna fix this short and then uh, everything will put back together if you like this video uh, please subscribe and as always guys have a great day